All right, here we go. We're going to do a normal rotation of the baby. The baby comes around the sacral promontory and then it comes back and engages and rotates into the mid pelvis, into the oblique diameter, and then it comes into the anterior posterior. And as it's crowning, the shoulders are engaging. It's such a beautiful moment, isn't it? So much is happening as, as with that crown. And the shoulders have engaged. The head begins to come on out. And then the shoulders rotate into the oblique diameter. And the head restitutes either with the shoulders or restitutes into alignment once the head doesn't have pressure. The shoulders then come to the anterior posterior diameter. And then you'll see the anterior shoulder, but the posterior will be born first if you don't have traction. All right, now we're going to go ahead and look at uh, shoulder dystocias. And the main one where I showed all of the rotations, but here you see the single inlet. And then you can see the double inlet shoulder dystocia on the sacral promontory and on the um, pubic bone. And then you can see the one below when you get to the outlet of the pelvis and you have it between the two varosities there in the outlet. And then we also have one for the skateboarders who've fallen on their, on their tailbone and broken it inward. There it is on the, between the pubic bone and the tailbone. And then we also have mid pelvis dystocias, which could be a 12 pound baby, but here we actually have a sacred tuberous ligament holding up a shoulder.